here we have a picture of a clear night sky. Now what do you see when you look up at the clear night sky? You see a beautiful moon and bright twinkling stars. Now if you are lucky enough you can even see a shooting star which is not actually a star. Now among all these stars can you point out the brightest star? Yes, this one is the brightest star. This is known as North Star. North Star is very bright and is easily visible to a naked eye. It is as bright as a candle in a dark room. Now do you know where are these stars located? Let's find out. All the twinkling stars are present in a vast limitless area which is known as the universe. The universe is a vast limitless area that consists of numerous stars and several other celestial bodies. So the universe is everything. It consists of all forms of matter, energy and even time. The universe was never this large from the beginning. It all started with a single point with a single point then further expanded to create this vast universe. Now within this universe we can find swirling masses of gases and clouds. Do you know what are these called? A swirling mass of gases and dust particles is known as a galaxy. So a galaxy is a collection of numerous stars, gases and dust particles which are held together by gravity. Now we live in one of the arms of the galaxy and the name of the galaxy where we live in is known as Milky Way The other name for Milky Way is Akash Ganga Galaxy. Our Milky Way consists of millions and trillions of stars and several other celestial bodies. Now these celestial bodies like planets revolve around a particular star and forms a subsystem within this galaxy. So this subsystem that is formed when several planets revolve around a particular star that is sun is known as solar system. So solar system is an assembly of the sun and eight other planets revolving around it. So here we have the picture of our solar system. In our solar system the sun is the biggest star and all the eight other planets revolve around this central power that is the sun. Now can you name all the planets chronologically? So these are the names of our eight planets. The first one is Mercury, then the second one is Venus, Earth, Mars and then we have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Now I hope you know the trick of naming these planets. The trick is my very efficient mother just served us noodles. See if you go by the first letter of these words then M stands for Mercury, V stands for Venus, efficient stands for Earth, Mother, Mars, just J stands for Jupiter, S stands for Saturn, U stands for Uranus and N of noodles stands for Neptune. So this is an easy trick to remember the names of these planets. Now here we can see that Earth is one of the planet that is present in our solar system and we all live in this earth. So universe is the vast limitless area that consists of several galaxies. 
Now the galaxy where we live in is the Milky Way galaxy or Akash Ganga galaxy. Now all these galaxies are further subdivided into various solar systems. The solar system of which we are part of consists of sun and eight other planets. Now the earth where we live in is the third planet of this solar system. So now let us see how this solar system was formed. Our solar system was formed from the collapse of a large rotating cloud of gas and dust particles. It is known as solar nebula. The central point of this nebula formed the sun. Now as this cloud was rotating at a rapid speed, it led to the formation of several smaller units. These smaller units gradually evolved into planets. The evolution of planets started around 4.5 billion years ago and earth was formed in this process. Our planet Earth was initially a hot barren rocky object with a thin layer of atmosphere. Then gradually with time density and temperature began to increase. The heavier elements sank towards the center of the Earth while the latter elements moved towards the Earth's surface. Then as the Earth cooled down the molten materials solidified and formed the outer surface of the earth. Due to further cooling, the water vapor and gases present in the air condensed and caused rainfall. This is how oceans came into existence. Thus finally, around 3600 million years ago, a habitable earth was formed as we find it today. So in the previous video, we saw how the earth was formed millions of years ago. Now this earth occupies the third position in our solar system. See, we have already read that there are eight planets in our solar system. Mercury is one, Venus two, Earth is three, Mars four, then fifth planet is Jupiter, sixth Saturn, Uranus 7th and Neptune 8th. So, Earth is the third planet in our solar system. Now, this planet is very unique as it is the only planet in the entire universe that supports life. So, our home planet Earth is indeed very unique. We shall now discuss about the shape and unique features of the Earth. Now, before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this. Our Earth occupies the dash position in the solar system. First, second, third or fourth? Yes, the correct answer is third. Earth is the third planet in our solar system. Watch this tiny ant moving on a surface. The ant must be wondering that it is moving on a flat surface. But that's not true. This is because if we look carefully, then we can find that the tiny ant is actually moving on a watermelon, which is a circular object. Now, just like this tiny ant, we human beings are very small compared to the huge ball of our earth. So our ancestors used to think that our earth is flat. We will now discuss about some old beliefs regarding the earth's shape. Ancient Egyptians used to believe that the earth is a flat surface. It is actually a rectangular object with steep edges. If someone crosses this edge, then he or she will fall into the unknown. So such was the belief of the ancient Egyptians regarding the earth's shape. 
Now, Babylonians, the ancient inhabitants of Middle East, believe that the earth is a hollow sphere. At the top, they have heaven. The middle space is land where they live. And the underground space is the hell. So, the Babylonians believe that the earth is a hollow sphere with three different parts, heaven, land and hell. Now, these are the old notions regarding the earth's shape. Later on, many scientists and explorers travel around the world to discover the true shape of the earth. The Strait of Magellan is located in the southernmost part of South America. The Strait of Magellan is a narrow water body that separates Tierra del Fuego from the rest of South America. The Strait of Magellan was named after a famous European explorer, Ferdinand Magellan, who discovered it. So now let us see how this explorer discovered the Strait of Magellan. On 1519, Magellan and his team left Spain and sailed westwards towards South America. On 1520, they reached the southernmost tip of South America. Here they crossed the region through a narrow water body which was later on named as Strait of Magellan. Then they sailed across the Pacific Ocean and reached Philippines on April 1521. Here, Magellan had a combat with the local inhabitants of Philippines and he died. However, his team continued with the expedition and reached Indonesia on November 1521. This place was known to them as Spice Islands. From here, they sailed towards their home or westwards. After crossing the Indian Ocean and Cape of Good Hope, they finally reached Spain, that is their home, after three long years on September 1522. So in the previous video, we saw that Spain was the starting point of Magellan's expedition and it is also the ending point of this expedition. So the circumnavigation of the earth by Magellan proves that our earth is round and it is not a flat surface. In fact, Magellan was the first person in history to circumnavigate around the earth. However, Magellan set off Spain to find a new trade route for the Spanish, but he finally ended up proving that the earth is round. So, circumnavigation of the earth is a tangible evidence that proves our earth is round. In our next lesson, we will look for further evidences. So, in today's video, we studied about the evolution of universe, galaxy and solar system. Then we also studied about the old beliefs regarding earth's shape. Finally, we studied about circumnavigation of Magellan around the earth which proves that our earth is round. In our next video, we will look for more evidences that proves that our earth is round. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now